Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'd like to talk about a bit more of a serious topic and that is Lost Ark's release for us here in the West. I would like to express my concerns and my worries on a few things that are problematic in Lost Ark and that I think won't sit very well with the audience from the West. This is basically my message to Lost Ark's Western publisher. Why didn't I release this video six months ago, a year ago? Simply because we didn't even know a year ago if it's ever coming to the West. First thing I want to talk about is um, the real money problem in Lost Ark. I'm not calling the game pay to win because Lost Ark is not really a pay to win game as there's nothing to win. However, there is a big emphasis on depositing real money in game. There is a big incentive um, on depositing this real money and that is not necessarily what bothers me and that is not necessarily what I think will bother many other players in the West. But the whole thing that it's right in your face and there's a, a bit of real money here, a bit of real money there, a bit of real money for gear, a bit of real money for this and that. I believe that this whole aspect needs to be looked into by the Western publisher and toned down a little bit, make it be a little bit more subtle. For those of you who are new or newer to the game, I'm just gonna give you a quick history lesson on real money in Lost Ark so you can understand why I think this is bothersome. When the game started, it started with the regular cash shop. It's okay to have a cash shop in an MMORPG and it had a bunch of items and packs and diamonds for sale etc. Then they, they had also a mini cash shop within that big cash shop that had very attractive items. You could purchase a limited quantity of them and they refreshed every 12 hours so you had to kind of camp them. People were camping for that one mat that they needed for their gear every 12 hours after reset so that's another kind of real money cash shop within a cash shop. And then they had the exchange from real money to in-game gold. This is a feature inside Lost Ark it started in day one. Guild Wars 2 has it. It's not such a big deal. I appreciate actually this feature being in an MMORPG because it gives those people who have fewer time to play and they just want to deposit a, a 50 bucks once in two months in the game, support the game and also get a little bit of gold for them so they can buy some stuff they don't necessarily want to farm due to lack of time. Now at the beginning of the game the things you could have purchased with gold, gold that you could have received from real money, were not that game breaking. There was a, some seal books you could purchase that gave your character a couple of perks for PvE content, for raiding in particular. Uh, there was a couple of runes, uh, potions, uh, um, foods etc. So these kind of acceptable things. However, as the game progressed and as the devs wanted to change the course of the game based on the fan feedback in Korea, we have gotten fast forward to today to a point where everything in the game, everything, not only pots, consumables, runes, seal books, but also gear enchantment materials are tradable on the broker and you buy them with gold. So right now you can imagine that the impact of this exchange from real money to gold is a hundred times bigger than it was at the beginning of the game because you can come with 10,000 euros and deposit and get the equivalent amount of gold and then with that gold you can basically empty the broker and progress with your gear in T-3 days your max item level. So because of that Right now the system doesn't really look that innocent anymore where you can deposit money and get gold. This whole system cannot be fixed. Our western publisher cannot change the way this thing works because you, even if you put a restriction on each account that you can only purchase a thousand gold a week with real money right via this system which can be easily done. What's to stop those accounts or those players from creating another 25 accounts and doing the same things on the other 24 that they have and then just sending the gold over via mail to their main character. So you cannot really put a restriction on this thing. However what you can do is sort out the other parts of the game not this system you let it be it's a it's a it's a black stain on the game but because of the fact that the game is so lovely and so amazing many people might actually get over the whole real money to in-game gold system 
but what you can do as a western publisher is tone down a little bit of the other sides that are right in your face and they require real money for example now with season 2 today the version that we're also gonna get in the west next year uh, there's real money involved in housing right where you can uh, pay some real money and instantly complete housing tasks like a task can be finishing a raid you can send your housemates to do actual content for you a raid a dungeon etc um y y there is real money at the end of a weekly cooldown dungeon which is super important everyone has to do it right you pay a little bit of real money and you get another box of extra rewards from that dungeon these are things that simply look bad they do not have any purpose they don't make the company rich they just look bad the fact that i have to pay two euros 50 at the end of a weekly dungeon so I can get an extra box of rewards. These things can be easily looked into. Another way in which you can mitigate this whole need of real money attitude in Lost Ark is giving all of the other players that do not want to deposit 500 euros a month in Lost Ark on gearing up or uh, uh, fastening their progression in terms of gearing, to give those people also a little bit more ways of getting this goal so that, so that they wouldn't feel so bad when they put themselves next to a wallet warrior and compare. This is a lovely way of mitigating the existence of a money hungry attitude or the existence of two cash shops and a, and a currency exchanger inside the game. I really believe that it's a simple thing for a western publisher to fix and address a problem that's not yet there because everything I talk about in this video does not even exist because we don't have the game. It's kind of dumb to talk about problems that are not yet there because people have not yet hit their heads in it but I want to get this out off my chest so I can make sure that from my part I've done everything I could to try to prevent maybe an unsuccessful MMORPG in the West, a game that I absolutely love and it's a lovely MMORPG but that has some parts which might deter Westerners from really committing to it, really loving it, really giving it their all. You have to keep in mind that 2021 is a very hard year for any MMORPG to release, especially one that comes already with some downsides from uh, Asia, such as Lost Ark. There is um, uh, Ilion around the corner. The game's gonna catch hype this year and next year also because they will release this year in Korea and there's gonna be a lot more content about it. There are people gonna be a lot more interested. So that's an option for Lost Ark players to look into that as well. There is Ashes of Creation, which the internet is already full of Ashes of Creation things. Next year, by the time Lost Ark releases, they might be close to their first closed beta. So because of that, a Western developed MMORPG no real money required, no pay to win, oh my god, we're all so cool. That's another option for some players that might be interested in Lost Ark to look into that. There is uh, uh, even New World people are comparing Lost Ark to, even though New World is kind of a survival thing, but it's still a thing. Diablo 4, Path of Exile 2, these are games that have little to do with Lost Ark, but it's still MMO kind of um, genre and people playing it. Core Punk, another MMORPG that's gonna start catching traction next year. And not to mention all of the current MMORPGs. How are you, Lost Ark, going to take players from Guild Wars 2, from WoW, from BDO, from BNS to get them to come to your game? Why would they leave their goodness there um, to, to join L L Lost Ark when uh, they really cannot really keep up with like a wallet warrior, um, content within the game is this, classes are like a basic version, five classes. So, you know, you really have to think as a Western publisher and unfortunately I'm too much of an idiot to to know what exactly is better for the market, for the players in the long term run and for the business, but I'm pretty sure that Amazon Games does know that and I'm confident that they have the experience needed to, to, to give a proper release for the game in the West and to actually westernize the parts that need westernization. Another thing I wanted to talk about as a negative besides this real money um, attitude of the game is um, the content. I know that very many of you guys in the game you feel that uh, hey you know I log in the game and Lost Ark allows me to do this two dungeons of, of this, one uh, weekly abyssal raid, two regular raids and then another two chaos dungeons and that's it. I'm done for the day, 
I have two options. Either I am forced to do content that I don't want to do, achievements, PvP, PC and water content if there's even anything left there, uh, or jump on an alt. That's the second option and continue doing my meaningful PvE content on alt. The way Lost Ark works now with season 2, which is the version we're gonna get, is that Obviously you're capped, there's cooldowns, right? Like in every other MMORPG, there is cooldowns on dungeons and on group content and that's perfectly fine. However, in Lost Ark, you finish everything that you need to do in a day, in an hour and a half or two hours. And after that, Lost Ark tells you either go outside and look at nature, which is a really nice thing, thank you so much Lost Ark, or you can jump on an alt and continue doing your meaningful content. Or the third option is do content that's not meaningful. By not meaningful I mean it doesn't contribute to the very core idea of an MMORPG, the thing that keeps people the most inside the game and that is progressing, improving their character. Now I would like for the western version to have a little bit more meaningful ways of getting things. I would like stuff to be slightly changed, not necessarily more cooldowns, but more rewards from other places as well. Besides the six things that you can do in Lost Ark on a daily basis and they're important for um, because you get mats to gear up with, everything else doesn't really give you that important goodies. Gold, for example. Why not add gold as a reward to other stuff, other things inside the game? Um, some <clears throat> some regular dungeons could have gold as a reward. Uh, but I, I don't know, maybe uh, every PvP win can have uh, one gold as a reward. Just a little bit of thing to motivate people to play the game longer. The longer people play the game, the more people would fall in love with it and the more people get addicted to it and they make friends and they make connections, real connections within the game and then it's harder for them to, to leave and just quit and stuff like that. So in my opinion, I think that as opposed to always playing your alts in Lost Ark, there can be something done to the current content that is available in Korea and Japan etc that it would make that content a little bit more lengthy and other content included inside the end game activities that would give you valuable rewards because not everyone wants to do gvg content not everyone wants to uh, wants to do pvp not everyone wants to do uh, everyday pve content not everyone wants to play alts which are the things that you, you know you have to juggle in between as a lost ark player including more and more people um into your game, that is the key to success in 2021 releasing an MMORPG. The 7,800 of us currently on the community discord, we're not the majority of players. We are the very small minority. The majority hasn't even heard of Lost Ark. And if the Western publisher does a good job with the game and appeals to that majority, they will be the ones who decide the fate of Lost Ark. Is it going to be successful or not? They need to be happy. We love the game regardless. We've loved it so far, we can turn a blind eye. These people that compose the majority, they're not gonna turn a blind eye because they already come from Guild Wars, they love that game. They come from WoW, they love that game. Uh, you know, they might be interested in Ashes of Creation and hey, let's see, is Lost Ark better than Ashes of Creation? Hmm, it needs uh, uh, 80 euros every month or uh, otherwise I... I'm just gonna fall way behind other people. Uh, I, I don't know, is it worth it? And on top of that, add the current pandemic, the COVID, and after that, an economical, worldwide economical crisis. You know, how are people going to have enough money to actually feel happy? I'm not saying that everyone should be fast gearing up. I'm not saying that gearing up should be easy. No, but if you give the wallet warrior an option to gear up in a week to max level, then please also give the free to play player or the player who just purchases a premium and that's how he plays games, which is the majority of players, not the wallet warriors. These are the majority. Uh, then please give those also a little bit more not as much as a world but but a little bit more options to, to 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 feel happy in the game and you feel happy in a game when you progress on a daily basis and it's visible and man i'm almost i'm almost getting there i cannot wait to finish on my berserker my my 1.3k item level set 
so I can, you know, focus on my uh, um, uh, summoner before the next patch also. This is what's exciting. And speaking of rewards, PvP needs to be really addressed. Currently, there's no rewards from PvP content. And because there's no rewards, there's no people really doing PvP except the die-hard PvP fans, which are very few of them in Lost Ark. Every PvE player is not even touching PvP right now. There used to be, for the longest time in Lost Ark, rewards from pvp and they got better and better and it was awesome because pvp was rewarding you could have made gold from pvp you could have uh, you know gotten uh, gear upgrading mats from pvp i still believe they're working on the merchant and by the time the game comes to us in the west there is going to be this merchant that gives you rewards from pvp however this rewards need to be there people need to feel rewarded from doing pvp because i i am a hundred percent sure that so many will love pvp in lost ark it's completely fair it's equalized it's partially balanced it's really awesome trust me it's really awesome once you learn how to play it it's exciting and not to have rewards from that like, like you know this needs to be there this is not even a discussion about it lastly i wanted to mention also the classes and the way they're being dripped with a teaspoon in lost ark i do understand that that maybe this is the way they want to do it maybe this is a 2020 version of an mmorpg idea from korea and this is how this game is However, I have never in my life played an MMORPG that purposely drips classes uh, one by one every six months, even though they are all ready. Now, in Korea, they came every six months because they were developed as the game went on, so that's why they came there. But Russia is doing the same even though they have all the classes, Japan is doing the same even though they just released and they have all the classes, and I'm pretty sure that... Uh, the West is going to do the same, where at the beginning you're just gonna get the basic version of, I don't know, uh, 10 classes and then later on you're gonna get uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, etc. If right now there's 10 people who really love the demonic, in release it's gonna be a thousand people who really would love the demonic and they don't find it there, it's not there and they don't even know why they don't like any class in the game but that's simply because the, theirs is not released yet so why push away some players and hoping that they're gonna come back in 2023 when uh, reaper is going to become available why do that right when instead you you can just have them there from the beginning and make them be happy with the game you never know how one player would influence the course of a guild you never know who you're missing out maybe you're missing out on a really talented streamer or a <clears throat> A content creator or a guild leader that's dude I, I just don't have a class for me i used to play a rogue in wow there is not no such thing and it's coming in two years I'm, i cannot stay here i'm going to go back to my wow rogue there's so many like a little butterfly effect that i think about and maybe i'm just thinking too much but but i'm just saying i i can never ever and i will never ever agree that classes are content a class release is a class release, it's not content. Content is raiding, dungeons, uh, sea and water content, new story, new zones, new maps, etc. That's content and that should be exciting enough for an MMORPG in 2020 to have and get people in or get people back or keep people here, um, not a, a class release. These four things, I just wanted to get them off my chest because um, I feel it's important now to, to, to talk about it and not to wait until it's too late. To talk about it with a lot of head notice, I wanted to express my feelings on the sides of Lost Ark that I think might be question marks for many people in the West. Maybe for some classes don't matter, but the question mark is real money. Maybe for some real money in the game problem doesn't matter and the question is content, but it's people and people and I wanted to get these four things out of the way um, so I can be happy that I've done my part uh, for this lovely game that I absolutely love and I've been loving it since uh, 2018. Uh, I wish you guys lots of love, thank you so much again for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think is wrong with Lost Ark, let's call it like that. What's wrong with Lost Ark in your opinion? If you've played the game in other regions or even if you've watched 
people talk about the game or streams. As a player from other MMORPGs, I am very interested, no matter how bad it sounds, I am extremely interested to know what is wrong in your opinion with the game. Maybe you don't like the graphics, maybe you don't like the fact that there's no healer, maybe you don't like the fact that you've heard it's pay to win, um, or, or what is your opinion? Very curious, so let me know in the comments below and who knows, maybe someone is actually um, going to watch this video for fan feedback. I wish you guys lots of love again, thanks for watching and uh, see you really soon.